our football team came out of the locker room and the gentleman in front of me stepped back. It broke the skin a little bit, but they didn't see any broken bones. It just started progressing so rapidly, and then that's when Dr. Barker said, you have RSD. There was times that I would just say, I'm done. Why me? Before the break, we met Kathy here, whose foot has been swollen. It has been of normal proportions due to a rare pain and nerve disease. It's called reflex sympathetic dystrophy, RSD for short. She's joined by her loving husband, who's been supporting her since day one of the diagnosis. Tim, and you are having so many different treatments done right now that has helped with the pain. But we're going to go through some solutions for you if you're game. I'm game. One of the things I want to go over is, what's your normal breakfast? Um, I always drink coffee first, coffee in the morning first, decaf, decaf has to be decaf. <laughs> and then um, definitely do my breakfast lean pockets. Make so sure a, bre sausage. a breakfast, breakfast, microwavable pocket. <laughs> so this is your breakfast. This is a processed food. Oh. And so as our producer followed you throughout the day, she noticed that you were eating a lot of processed foods, a lot of sugar, sugar substitutes. And the one thing, and, and never in a million years would I tell you that this is going to solve your problem at all, but right. there are pro-inflammatory foods that you are eating a fair amount of. This is an inflammatory condition. And so when you're eating highly processed, high sugar meals, um, you are putting yourself at risk for a whole body inflammatory reaction. I mean, we're seeing that more and more in people who don't have RSD. So that's one of the things, again, one of the simple everyday things you can do is cutting back on things like high sugar foods, highly processed foods. I'm glad you go decaf. You gotta be very careful with things like caffeine, which can, can really stimulate your sympathetic nervous system. And since your disease is called reflex sympathetic dystrophy, those are things you have to be very aware of. Now, having said that, this is, one of the worst cases of RSD that even you said Dr. Barco has ever seen or maybe ever seen for any specialist. This is very unique. So I do want to introduce you to someone who is in our audience. His name is Dr. Joshua Prager. He's an RSD specialist. He's the former president of the North American Neuromodulation Society, also the director of the Center for Rehabilitation of Pain Syndromes at UCLA. And he has something special he wants to tell you. Welcome. It's nice to be here. And Kathy, you really do have a very dramatic case. The military has sent us some cases that actually look worse than yours. In those cases, we've seen um, something that I don't know if you've had, which is non-healing wounds that, that happen. Have your, has your leg ever started leaking? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's something where hyperbaric oxygen can be extremely helpful in treating the non-healing wounds and at the same time helping the complex regional pain syndrome. And what is fully understood at this point is unless you have a whole team working together, including physical therapy, psychology, relaxation therapy, an interventionalist to help the pain, et cetera, if all these people are not working together at the same time, you're pretty much doomed to failure. So a few of the surprises are we're going to set you up in addition to continuing to see Dr. Barco, who's worked so diligently with you, the multifaceted approach at UCLA, get you set up for an evaluation there. We're also going to get you from Desert Hyperbaric Medicine. They're going to offer you 20 hyperbaric therapy sessions for free. And because this is a holistic approach, my friend, nutritionist Dr. Marina Jampolis, is actually going to come down and see you for a week and literally restock your cabinets with all the nutritious foods. Because, again, we're treating you as a... It's, it's everything here. It's, you know, Dr. Prager hit it on the head. It's, it's, it's everything. There goes the chocolate. <laughs> well, maybe if it's at least 70% dark chocolate every now and then. You know, this is one of those things where we are so glad that you could come here and share your story. And, and, I, and I mean this when I tell you, I've met a lot of people in medicine. Kathy has a resiliency that is rarely exhibited when someone's going through something like this. And I, I applaud you. I applaud you. And